And welcome back to the Tamara Wade Show. My name is Derek Griffin. I am the Vice President of uh, Builder Development with the Tamara Wade team. And I am the guest host and, and have a, an amazing guest with me, um, Shannon Wilmot. She is the General Sales Manager with our team. And um, we help run this whole sales operations on the Tamara Wade team. And um, I could not be more excited to have uh, Brittany and Shannon Brittany specifically on the show today. Um, uh, sorry, Shannon with on the show today um, with me right now. Um, they are doing an amazing job uh, with our builders and and our sales agents, and just extremely excited to have you guys. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, I'm excited so, to be here. Good, good. So one of the things I kind of wanted to talk about today a little bit it was um, work life balance. How do you manage being an on site agent? Because recently you guys were, or you specifically were a um, uh, on-site agent um, before you got promoted. I was an on-site agent for about eight years before I stepped into management. But um, kind of speak a little bit about work-life balance and what the expectations is for a new home sales agent and kind of you know, how do you manage it? Well, gosh, any working mom knows it's it's a delicate balance. Um that is especially true in new construction because you work a lot of weekends. Sometimes you have to stay late. Sometimes you have to come in early. And when I mean late, like late on a Saturday night is tough on the family. That's family time. So it just takes a lot of balance um, and a lot of planning. Mm -hmm. On Saturdays when you know you're going to have a busy day, it's like getting in there extra early to make sure things get done so that you get home in time to have dinner with the family and to play with the kids. I'm in a special situation. My husband is also an on-site agent. So it yeah, takes that's double the special. planning. Wow. Double the planning and um, prioritizing and trying to just sometimes when you get home, having to put things aside, at least for those the solid 45 minutes to an hour. Because I know things are pressing in real estate, but sometimes you've got to break away and give your family that important hour that they need of attention, mm -hmm. direct attention. Yeah. I mean, I just, I one of the things that was critical for me when I was on site was I, I wanted to stay to have some kind of consistency and keep that consistency by taking off the same days off during the week. So I would try my best to take off Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, if it was a perfect world and I could pick my days, I'd probably do Tuesday, Wednesdays, <clears throat> just because Mondays after the weekend, I could catch up on stuff, but um, not, we don't always have that luxury of picking the days we want to take off. But working the weekends is, is it's an absolute mandatory thing that we, we get yeah. to do. But I'm telling you, we made a lot of money working on the weekends. So that's, that's where the money is. And, um, but as far as work-life balance, yeah, I mean, you got you to gotta plan it out. Well, and for us, it was just talking to our children, helping them to understand that, you know, we have this life because we work hard and sometimes it takes me away from you, but I do it for our family. So sometimes mm -hmm. it's just about just explaining it to them mm -hmm. and your friends and your friends will understand and your family. Normally, if you explain to them, they understand as well. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, it's, it's all about expectations and kind of setting that out, which is, sounds like you guys have done that. Um, so your husband, Lee, mm -hmm. is an on-site agent. That's, I don't, <laughs> my wife is a school teacher, so, you know, it's a little bit different, but um, yeah, that's interesting. I, yeah, it's kind of strange sometimes. To and juggle that, yeah. It is hard to juggle, and then, you know, of course, you sometimes have to cover for, if you have a partner or someone else that you're coming for vacations for, you got to plan for that long stretch of time at work, and you just got to work that out with all the parties involved, and sometimes it's not very easy, and there are days where we have to call and help. Mm -hmm. Um or I'll call other agents to help out. Or there's always some kind of resource, and sometimes it just takes a little extra effort in planning. Talking about planning or getting prepared, um, what's one of the biggest things that like to get you mentally ready for your day on your on site? Um, one of, and I'll just give an example for me. This is kind of silly, but you know, this was ten years ago when I was selling. I would like listen to like amp up music in the car <laughs> on the way to work. <clears throat> ACDC, you know, some trance music. I don't, did they have trance music back then? Um, so, something to get me pumped, you know, to get, as I'm going into work. Um, and I would do that. And, I, and it would really mentally get me hyped up for the day. Um, what are some of the things that, get, that, gets you, uh, that gets you mentally ready for your day? Most women probably feel this way. It's looking the part. 
Mm-hmm. It's getting up every day and making sure that I look like the professional that I want to be in the office every day. So just m- mentally knowing that I feel the part, I look the part. Now let's go accomplish. Let's go get this done. For me, it was just about getting ready every single day. And I know it's not all about the shoes and the clothes, but it was just about physically getting ready and preparing myself mm-hmm. for the for what I was going to happen that day. Mm-hmm. And for women, a lot of times that's how we feel mm-hmm. and how we look and how we feel are often correlated. Right. No, I so get that's it. what did it for yep. me. And then, um, when I would when I would get to my subdivision, for me it was organization. It was, mm-hmm. and how everything looked. I wanted to make sure that model looked beautiful. All the lights on, all mm-hmm. the light bulbs replaced, the floors clean. I wanted it to look like someone really wanted to walk in and just live there that day. Mm-hmm. And that made my time more pleasurable there as well, because mm-hmm. then I always wanted to stay. Didn't mind staying in this beautiful home. Yeah, that's that's awesome. And I know. Um, our model homes are decorated really nicely, but to, to keep up that look and, um, for me, it's the energy and, and I would get into work and I would just want to always have the energy and focus so that I never had a down day. Um, because if, you know, somebody came into my, my community and if I had that energy level up, it kept me on top of my follow-up. It kept me, kept me on top of making sure walk in my community and making sure my specs are up because uh, when you're energetic and you're excited, you're going to do these things. It's to, easy to accomplish your yeah. tasks throughout the day when yeah. you're excited. Yeah. And it makes the day go by quicker. It does. I mean, I, I just, that's one of the things I miss about onsite is when you would meet someone, you get to know them, sit down. And by the time you look at your watch, like two hours yeah. have gone by and <clears throat> you're hopefully writing a contract, but if not, you know, you've gone, very far in the process with them. And, um, that's one of the things. I and you probably in, you, like, I enjoy building the rapport with the clients as well. And yeah. it sounds like you did too. Like that was the yeah. fun part of our job. It was. Yep. And then the thrill of getting to write that contract at the end, mm-hmm. like it all, it all worked like it was supposed to and mm-hmm. everything paid off. It's just a, it was a huge reward. Yeah. And, and you can't get there unless you do the things up front is you're well rested because you have that life, uh, work balance, your family's, um, excited and supportive of you as you go and do your thing on the weekend you go in with that high level energy you're doing the things that you love to do and then you're reaping the rewards by having contracts on the on the table so really good that's awesome well thanks so much shannon for being here with us today um we're gonna um you know have some more podcasts would love to have you along with us on this 2020 ride great thank you